Yeah. It's a tail grab workout. <laughs> <laughs> All right, beginners. This one is for you. You can't say that. And this is how it works. Okay, we've all been beginners at some point. Okay, okay. There we go. Oh, hold on. I think you need to explain this. You're just like, all right, we're going to jump. Oh, I, I wasn't working. I was just practicing my karate. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, everyone? This is Tiffany with thegearlady.com, and today we are coming at you with some exercises for beginner snowboarders that are looking to increase their skills. Part of the reason why I wanted to create this video is because I love fitness, and I actually looked for videos specifically on exercises that I could do off of the slopes that would help me to perform better on the slopes. So this is a great way to kind of avoid those injuries and just improve your performance. If you wouldn't mind hitting that like button down below and go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already so you can be the first one to know when I put new videos out. <laughs> I'm here with the Michael Elisa. In the flesh, the. Thank you for introducing me like that. Yeah. He is actually a former college college athlete. If I could say the word college, it would come across way better it than sounds, what's happening. It sounds more <laughs> profound when you say collegiate athlete. Yes. Is what I found. A former college athlete that is going to help us with all of the form and all of the things. That's right. right? All the things. We are going to go through the top exercises that are going to help those of you that are new at snowboarding to get better. Um, as a reminder, I am not an expert in any of the things, which is why I created the Gear Lady, but that is why we have Michael here to show us the proper form and make sure that we're avoiding injuries. I don't know if you knew this, I'm from Hawaii, grew up surfing, but I've actually snowboarded more than I've surfed in my life. So a lot of the movements that we're gonna teach you right now, you're gonna see how they can translate to either whether you're snowboarding or surfing, a lot of legs, a lot of core. First one we're gonna do is air squats. And you're gonna see immediately why this is so necessary. If you've ever been snowboarding before, you know that life can get miserable if you don't have strong legs really quickly. Let's go through this. Here we go. Oh, wish me luck. <laughs> Tiffany, you ready to do some air squats? I'm a little nervous, but I think so, yeah. Act like you're standing on a snowboard. Do the same with, if you like to ride with a, a toe pointed, I'm not saying squat like that. No, we're not doing that. <laughs> so, normal width that you'd be at, but point your feet forward for this exercise. Okay. Okay, so now, on. weight's gonna be in your heels and on the edges of your feet. Okay. Okay, feeling that? Feeling it. Okay, now when you're going down, you're gonna keep a proud chest. Don't let yourself start creeping forward, and don't let yourself start going onto the, the, on the balls of your feet. All right, let's see it. Okay. Nice. Wow. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Let's see another one. So, and we want to go past 90 degrees here. Yep. There we go. I want my heels. Hey, Amazing. I feel like you need to do it with me. Okay. Let's do it. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is how you shred the gnar. <laughs> <laughs> Proud chest. My hands are up, I'm not coming down here. Coming down here, you're gonna roll on through the balls of your feet and you're veering immediately. That's why I wanna stay flat on that board. There we go. Now that. And that's the air squat. I'm going to give you a high five tonight. I... <laughs> you left me hanging there. <laughs> I thought you were just saying, I'm the best. Nailed it. <laughs> Okay, so the next move that we're gonna go through is actually to help when you're standing up on the snowboard. So for me personally, my very first day, the hardest thing was standing up every time I fell. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it here. There was a lot of falling. <laughs> More than I would want anyone to see, but it's fine. There's not too much video footage of it, so we're great. Standing up on the snowboard is actually a really good skill that you want to develop. And so this exercise is gonna help you develop those muscles. So whether you're just starting out or whether you're hoping to go for the first time you can perform a little bit better and maybe avoid a little bit more injuries when you're out there if you're a beginner you're gonna spend a lot of time on your butt that's just how it's gonna go but that's how you learn and if you're an intermediate or advanced snowboarder then you know what I'm talking about start with finding a fixed pole and have somebody hold their hand up to you but we're acting like we're sitting on the slope of the mountain we're facing downhill snowboard is square with the direction that the slope is going. When you want to get up off your butt, you know, lean forward and gravity will help you on the slope so you, so you won't have anything that you'll need to pull up on. And lean forward and get up on your feet. 
So lean forward as far as you can. Try to flatten up that stone board. Keep the edge of your heels in the ground. This is proper lifting technique too. We're digging our heels in. Snowboard, even more important. If you don't dig your heels in, you just slide it downhill, okay? Dig those heels in, lean forward, weight over your forehead, stand right up, just pop up. Okay, we're gonna dig those heels in if you don't want us to keep slipping down the hill. And you're gonna need to get really good at this. It's gonna spend a lot of time on the ground. Just like on the hill, you want your board as close to your butt as possible. Okay, right? Dig your heels in. Act like you're on the slopes. Imagine you're on the slopes. So you're leaning, leaning into, over your board, popping up fast. That's how it's really been. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Wow, okay. Watch no, him. That Don't was watch perfect. Me. That was perfect. <laughs> oh, synchronized. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't you know just on you your own little world over there. Right? Like a pro. Oh. Next movement. One of my favorites, especially if I'm warming up for a leg day, is called the Gorilla Squat. Walk me through it. All right, so. Snowboard stance. Snowboard stance. Always. Grabbing our toes here. At the bottom position, this is really good for just warming up, stretching out too. Loose hips. Standing up. Looking through my legs. Bottom position, looking up. What if the people can't touch their toes? What do they do? Just hang down as far as they can? Oh, grab those ankles. Oh. Yeah. Or put those elbows on those knees. Your hands are your bare hands. Pass them together. You can do this if you really want to. Okay. The elbows on the knees. Okay. This is the movement. You like that? It's a good one. Can't you do it though? I'm gonna have to try that later. <laughs> Man of many talents. There we go. Oh. Oh, I'm burning. My legs are burning. I know. We're going to be walking I feel like this. I just want to snowboard. Next movement. I use this a lot. These are situations when you're on a flat surface. Maybe you are coming down a run and there's a long flat straightaway before the next hill. And you don't have the momentum to get you all the way there. You can either A, unbuckle one of your feet and just kind of do that awkward little push thing <laughs> that we do as snowboarders. I do that quite a bit, let's <laughs> yeah. be real, okay? And it's really difficult, it requires a lot of coordination. Or, if you're like me, you stay buckled in and you just do a little hop, okay? <laughs> you just get a, kind of like, a, like doing the worm, who break dances, okay? So that's what we're gonna work on, jumping. Two types of jumps we're gonna do, tuck jumps and 180 jump. 180 jumps. You should come up with a name for this. That's the official word. 180 okay. jumps. Just say it with conviction. You're like questioning. Chuck jumps and 180 jumps. 180 jumps. We know exactly what it's called. Your feet are planted like you're on a snowboard. Okay. There we go. And we're not going to be. Well, this is a little more advanced. So when you're, when you're going that away and you want to get there without unbuckling, then yes. This is. You're doing this. <laughs> Watch out. I think the credibility okay. just like went out the window a little bit. Just we're professionals, we swear. So, but before we get there, that really is the moment though. Shoulder width apart, like on a snowboard. Jumping. Keeping your center of gravity over your board once again. Now jumping forward, now jumping back. Straight up. You know, tuck those legs. And then again, coming back down. Why do we walk strong legs? For those landings, okay? I'm gonna okay. try to do it with you. Ready? Let's see it. <laughs> Here we go. Who jumped higher? For sure, me. For sure. <laughs> yeah. So that's the tuck jump. Then we want to do the 180 jump. This is important for when you are going goofy or regular, okay? You need to switch it up. Here we go. Okay, what are the tips? What do most people do wrong with this? Anything? You can't go wrong? I guess well, something that people do wrong is they think that they're moving their feet. You're not moving your feet. You're moving your core. This is where that torque happens to flip that board around fast. You're not thinking about moving these, because then it'll be slow. Moving this, so. Yeah. <laughs> 
fast spin. You don't go fast enough and you land like this. That's called catching an edge. <laughs> and that really hurts, okay? Yeah. And that's called a concussion. <laughs> Not something I'm laughing about today. <laughs> so, Very serious. No one wants a concussion. <laughs> Safety first, folks. Safety first. I've had a few in my day. It's fine. <laughs> Okay, so this is the 180 jump. And we're going to practice it like you're looking downhill. Keeping your head. <laughs> I feel like a small child next to, listen, no one should have to see this, just watch this. Okay, so the next exercise we're going to do, we're actually going to do two exercises to work your core. So with snowboarding, everyone kind of thinks about working their legs, but it actually is quite a bit of core work to swing your board around and do the movements that you need. So the stronger that core is, the better you're gonna be able to snowboard and kind of do the things that you're wanting to do. So, here we go. Where are we going, guys? Where are we going? <laughs> All right, these are one of my favorite things to do. They go hand in hand. It's pretty much the same movement. We're gonna start in a plank position. This is a beginner. If you'd like to make it a little more difficult, mix things up, you're gonna bring this hip down to a little tap. Tap, and tap, and one, and two, and one. And two. And what do we do? We tap. <laughs> yeah. uh, yeah. He teaches aerobics on the weekends, folks. Okay. Zoom up. <laughs> Beginner would be just plank, mm -hmm. even if they're wanting to make it harder. Yeah. And hip tap. Beginner or advanced, plank is great for core. A lot of core strength. That's where your power and control is going to come from. So. Let's take a knee, folks. <laughs> Don't you want to snowboard as good as we look right now? <laughs> Everyone's like, unsubscribe. <laughs> if you miss your turn, you're going out, let's say you're going down, you're skiing, shredding the gnar, feeling so good, you're doing some 180s, okay? I'm goofy, regular, you're waving at your friends, looking at that cute girl, <laughs> pulling on your goggles, you wink at her, and you miss your turn, okay? Here's what you do. So you slam on the brakes, right? Toes pointing downhill, and you're going to flip around so that you're on all fours. Don't let the girl see you do this, okay? Except <laughs> you're on all fours and you wanna get back up the hill, maybe 10, 15 feet. That's how you do it. We're gonna do some double mountain climbers. So it's a steep hill, my toes are dug in, my hands are in the snow, and I'm gonna be jumping up and walking up that hill, one jump at a time. We're not gonna do that on the ground. We're just gonna do double mountain climbers. That's what it looks like, okay? Okay, we're working out the hip flexors, our core, our shoulder strength, stability. Trust me, when you've gone up 10, 15 feet like that, you're gonna wanna take your jacket off, you're gonna be sweating. What are some things to watch? This one, you wanna engage your core on that landing. And your hip flexors are what you're really gonna need when you're hopping up that mountain. Okay, these muscles right here. Especially with those big old boots on your feet and the snowboard, you're really gonna wanna be able to carry that weight up so you can slowly walk up that hill. Again, don't let the girl see. <laughs> there you go, though. <laughs> oh. okay. How are you feeling, Chef? I'm all dead. I'm not gonna pretend like I'm not like puffing and puffing. Not me. I could do this all day. <laughs> Just kidding, I'm very tired too. That deserves an Oscar for sure. Thank you. <laughs> this last movement is for endurance, okay? If you enjoy snowboarding and you want to really get your full day's work out of that, you got to build up your endurance. You want to get your money's worth, okay? So jump lunges, we're going to build up a lot of lactic acid in our legs. The more you do this, the longer you're going to be able to go over time. Get down to a needling lunge position. Like so. Very nice, Tiffany. Thank you. Have you, done, have you been on a knee before? I've been on a knee. Well, you're nice. Nice. You're receiving your, your lordship, right? okay? And when I'm standing up, I'm digging through the heel, not through my toe, my heel. I can almost wiggle my toes when I'm standing up. Same time, I'm pushing my back toe into the ground to extend that leg. I'm just going to do that really fast. Front heel, back toe. See that? Jump. Speeding up. Lactic acid is already building up. <laughs> This is how you get endurance on the snowboard slopes, guys. I'm gonna do a lot of these. 
<laughs> I'm falling over. <laughs> Don't fall over. But if you do, just get right back up. Too much mic for this. Um, legs are on fire. <laughs> That's it. I'm not dying. <laughs> We can breathe totally normal. One thing that I really loved when I went the first time is I had been working out pretty consistently. And so by incorporating that fitness, it's just gonna help you to have better endurance on the mountain and be able to perform better and enjoy it more because you're not just absolutely dying. Have fun guys, you guys are gonna fall down a lot. That's okay. <laughs> just just un accept the fact that you're gonna be on your bum a lot of the time when you're first starting out. Absolutely. But these workouts definitely will help you to enjoy your time more and to be able to break through those barriers early on, like fatigue and frustration of not being able to know how to move your body. These are the movements that will help you do those things. So dial in, try these movements out, and have fun on the slopes. Okay, Michael. All the people, especially the ladies, want to know where they can find more of this. Where can people find you online? Just follow me on Instagram right here. We'll include his handle. And for those of you that are in the Salt Lake area, he actually runs an exercise class that happens every week called Core Revive. I'll link that down below as well. It's fun. I personally go to it and it kicks my butt every single time. So if you're looking for a really good workout, you can follow that account as well and I'll link that down below. So thank you so, so much for watching. As always, if you haven't hit that like button, go ahead and press that now. Please, please, please. Michael will personally thank you, right? Yeah, I will. <laughs> Every single one. <laughs> and go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Woo! <laughs> Should I be in this? I feel so awkward. What do I do while he's talking? I'm just like, eh. You're not here, lady. Oh. You're the face of the franchise. That's what you are. <laughs> Yeah. I like. Yeah. <laughs> Trying something new. You know? No? Okay. Yeah. Let's do this then. Okay. Let's do this. <laughs> <There it is. laughs> Usually I try to curtsy when I see him. I don't know. Just, you gotta show your respect. That's actually not true. You've never curtsied for me. Why? Why have you curtsied? Sorry, sorry about that. Thank you. Yes, That's actually kind of nice. He's <laughs> just, you just having me. Periodically go like this, and then leave. <laughs> and everyone's like, this like that is guy crazy. Is we can breathe totally normal. This is easy for us, you know. Just please hold. <laughs>